my name is Jimmy Reyes. Welcome to my channel where I share tips, techniques on both traditional and digital comic book illustration. Well hello, welcome back to another video. This video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion and my experience with the Wacom Cintiq 16. Well, I guess I should start by mentioning that this video is not paid for or sponsored by Wacom, that I just wanted to give you my honest opinion about this product. Well, alright, let's get started and I'll start giving you the reasons why I do or don't believe that this is the right product for me. One of the main things that I do really like about the Wacom Cintiq is the pin. The pin is extremely responsive, uh, it's very sensitive, it has tilt response, it has uh, quite a bit of uh, sensitivity onto it. It is the same pin I believe that you would see uh, if you were to purchase the uh, one of the Pro series. So I have to give them um, <laughs> a thumbs up on the pin, it's definitely uh, worth the buy. I designed my digital brushes around the pin. So if you're wondering how I get this traditional look, how I get an organic look with digital inks, uh, that's accomplished several different ways. One is uh, the pen that I'm using, uh, two is my technique and style, and three are the brushes that I've custom designed to give me that organic look, that traditional look. And if you're interested in purchasing the brush set, I do have them available on my Gumroad. Um, also, I have a digital inking kit that provides you with everything that you need if you're a traditional inker and want to transition into digital, or if you're a digital artist and you want to pick up comic book inking digitally, well, you can buy the entire kit that provides you everything that you need. Or if you simply just want to ink in my style and have more of a traditional look, then the digital inking kit's for you. All right, let's get back to the video here about this Wacom Cintiq. Some of the things that uh, I do like about the Wacom Cintiq is I do like the smoothness of the cover of the tablet. I've noticed in other reviews, everyone would mention that they like the screen, that it feels like paper. Now, my opinion is uh, it doesn't feel like paper. I, I don't know what type of paper they're referring to. Uh, if you're referring to um, Bristol board plate, which is a very smooth surface, then yes, this, this could feel a little like that. Um, they mentioned that it has texture to it. Now, they may base that on their experience with a different Cintiq. Now, I should also mention that this is my first Cintiq. This is the first Cintiq that I've purchased. I, I've not used a, a Pro or any other uh, Cintiq. And when they mention that it's feels like paper to be completely honest it it doesn't feel like paper to me um, maybe as I mentioned that uh, you know it, compared to other screens maybe the screens on the pro series are very smooth and slick that could be why uh, but I do enjoy the surface I, I do like the surface and it works very well with a glove I would recommend using a glove uh, for this because if your hand perspires or if you're in a climate that has a lot of humidity in there or um, If you're in a climate that has dry humidity then you if you persp or if you just perspire a lot then Perspiration will make your hand stick or your forearm stick to you know the screen and it won't feel as comfortable So the, a glove is something that I would really recommend uh, doing that I've noticed that other people had mentioned about the power button being on top and that uh, uh, that could have been could be a concern. Uh, for me now, I've been using this now for about a month and a half and I've not hit that button accidentally once. Uh, I, I've never even come close to it. I want to talk about the actual visibility on the screen. The screen itself is an HD, so it's 1080p, it's 1920 by 1080p on this actual screen. As a digital inker, this is something that I'm concerned about, is that in HD, 1080p, I would have to zoom in quite a bit in order to be able to see all the fine lines. One of the big rules about digital inking is that you don't want to zoom in. So it breaks the rule, the number one rule for digital inkers, that you have to zoom in in order to be able to see this screen. 
So I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but in order to be able to see one of these very fine lines in here, I would have to zoom in quite a bit. So for myself, would I go back and buy this product? No. Uh, HD is not visible enough for me to be able to see the lines, to be able to work comfortably as a digital inker. So for me, I would need something that's 4K. I would need a higher resolution screen. So if I could afford it, I would like to have gone back and purchased the Pro Series. But this was what, what's in my budget. So I like to stay positive and work with what I have. So I like to look at the positive about this particular product. So I didn't want to return it, even though I spent over $700 on the product, plus the stand, plus the adapter for having an iMac. Uh, so I decided that I was going to use it as, uh, as a tablet. I would use it as a regular tablet, uh, and I would just look on my screen. So what I do is I look onto my 4K monitor that I do have on my iMac. It provides me all the detail and all the fine work and allows me to work at a very comfortable zoom level so that I don't have to over zoom in Clip Studio Paint while I'm inking. I can work at a very comfortable level. So I get to look upward at the screen, at the 4K screen, and it does help my neck and my, and my posture. Um, but I do have the stand and so when I do want to elevate the Wacom, I can, I can elevate it and actually work on top of it. Um, so what I do is I pencil on the screen because I do like to have that feel of me sitting in here and drawing. But when I am inking, well, I like to have it like a tablet. So what I do is I place it all the way down as far down as it will go. And I will then bring it back towards me and I line it up with my screen so that I'm working comfortably and this way and everything just kind of feels more unified and I, I don't hunch over as much. With the Wacom Cintiq default settings, it was basically just plug and play almost. Uh, you do have to install the drivers, so I did download and install my drivers. One of the things that they do tell you is that if you have a previous driver, you want to remove it and then install the new Wacom Cintiq driver. Uh, with the new driver, I mean, it's already calibrated, uh, it's already sized to my screen. I can draw all the way up to a very top corner. I, I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I do like that. I, I really enjoy that. I can just use it as a tablet. It's already sized to it. Uh, as far as lag goes, no, there, there isn't any lag for me. And I'll tell you the one reason why I don't have lag, and this is something that's very important, uh, that none of the other reviews out there, well, only one other review said this. Okay, so if you're a Mac user, then you really don't want to listen to this. We have a Thunderbolt port. Uh, that's a C USB port. And so we need an adapter that'll convert that to HDMI. I want to produce the best digital inks that I can. So I want to make sure that there is no lag and that uh, I'm getting the best quality. So I went out and I bought the most expensive C USB which is a Thunderbolt port to HDMI adapter. But I got a lot of lag. So in that one review, I learned that what Wacom recommends is to use the adapter from StarTech. So guys, if you're Mac users, remember, use the StarTech. I would recommend using the StarTech brand. So what I like a lot about this is even though that this is only a 16 inch screen, I get to look up at my 21 inch monitor uh, in 4K. So I've got you know, a fairly decent sized screen. I really do like it. So for me, having a 16 inch works great. It's like having a big tablet and I just look up all my screen. Works for me. Having a smaller tablet, it does feel pretty portable and it is pretty light. I'm able to move it around my desk. I don't transport it anywhere because I don't work anywhere outside this little area but I can pick it up, move it if we need to, and we need more space here to work. The one of the things about this Wacom Cintiq is that it doesn't have any control panels on the ends. Uh, to be honest, I don't even miss them. So I set keystrokes to my pin, uh, which allow me to do the controls that I used to use on the side. Uh, the only other control that I would need is to be able to use uh, keys to select tools and to delete, and so I keep my keyboard right off to the end and having a Mac wireless uh, allows me to be able to just move things around. So if you have a wireless keyboard that uh, is Bluetooth, then you can move around, save yourself some money, but Wacom does offer uh, a little key remote 
um, that uh, you can use to set any key controls on that. What the great thing is, I mean, it is pretty stable. Uh, it doesn't really skid very much as far as I'm using the stand with the stand and it's rubber little uh, boots that go at the very bottom. The rubber boots are made for, I believe, the 13 inch or the, the mobile version of this. Uh, but they, they work for me, they don't slide. I, I put them on underneath even though the Cintiq already has a little rubber stud underneath, but having these little boots at the very bottom work very well. I like it. I like having my pen on the side. I just place my pen right there on the side. It's, it's, it's a great product. It's the reason why I didn't return it. Uh, it did cross my mind when I started using the screen and got <laughs> really, was really disappointed when I could not see on the screen. But when I decided that I was going to use it as a tablet, it's perfect as a tablet. It, it's great. I like having the option to have the screen to be able to sketch on it. So when I draw, I, I really don't worry about getting in there all these super little fine details because I mostly just sketch um, inside Clip Studio Paint and then I'll actually print that out and actually draw traditionally. Although I'm starting to draw more and more uh, finished work inside Clip Studio Paint. So the penciling and sketching works here. So if you're a penciler, um, you know, yeah, it might, it, might, it might work for you. But as an inker, I do work for long hours uh, and it, the screen doesn't get hot, uh, it doesn't heat underneath, there isn't some type of fan in there that makes any noise, it's very quiet. I really enjoy it, I wouldn't return it. Would I go back and buy the same product? No. Uh, would I recommend this product to digital inkers? I would say that I would recommend to them, if it's within their budget, to try to buy a larger Pro Series with the 4K monitor, if that's outside your budget. And if you're like me and this is all you can afford, then yeah, buy it. It works great as a tablet and you can use a 4K monitor if you already have one. And just look up at that, it's a great workaround. Um, so I've been asked quite a bit on social media as to what kind of work setup do I have. Uh, and I do recommend people to my YouTube channel to see my workstation. At that time, I didn't have this Wacom Cintiq. So I did want to make a video uh, showing you guys my setup here for the Wacom Cintiq and to talk a little bit about how it's worked out for me. So I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, again, I'm not trying to influence your decision if you guys are interested in going out and buying this product. So I would recommend going out, doing your own research before you purchase the product. You know, take a look at different reviews, technical things, uh, along with this video here if you're a digital inker. You know, Wacom does make great products. I've been very satisfied with their products. I do own an Intuos 4 tablet since 2007 and it's worked great so that should tell you a little bit there about their products uh, so this has worked well for me I've had a couple of oops with it where I've dropped some things on the screen luckily it didn't crack it didn't scratch um, I haven't had to worry about it I've dropped it on the desk a few times but it still has worked perfectly for me so um, I would say yeah it's a great product I really enjoy it I do wish I had that uh, Cintiq Pro with the 4k monitor well, all right, guys, thanks so much. See you guys in the next video.